Are you tired of your con photos just not coming out right? Do all your colors look weird, or maybe the lighting is just too harsh? Hi, I'm Ash Coyote, and today we are addressing a special topic in fursuit photography, how to make bad lighting at cons work for you. If you've taken photos at a convention, then I'm sure you've experienced this. You snap shot after shot, and the colors just never look right. Our first part of this special topics episode will be discussing white balance and how to use it to your advantage. White balance is how your camera adjusts the image to what it perceives as white. Generally speaking, a good photo should have a balanced and even color. To achieve this, we need to balance our camera. I would suggest bringing along a white piece of paper or finding a white object in your scene. Then click the select white balance button. This is usually found in your camera's white balance menu. This will allow your camera to automatically balance to the color temperature in the scene. You should notice a pretty immediate improvement in how your image looks after doing just that. In a later episode, focused on advanced lighting, we will talk about using gels and other lighting modifiers to change this. Next up, if you can, shoot RAW. RAW is essentially a digital negative for your camera. It allows a ton of flexibility in post and can be a lifesaver if you mess up a shot. Take for example these two shots. The right is a JPEG, the left is in RAW. See how much more flexible the RAW is when pushed just a few stops? I know it takes up a ton of memory when shooting it, but it's so worth it. Finally, add your own lighting. Going off the first bit, a way around bad lighting in an environment is to add some of your own. I usually bring along a couple camera mountable LEDs and a flash whenever I go to cons. This gives me a lot of flexibility depending on the environments that I'm working in. This way, you can set your white balance based off a constant that your source is producing and add some really cool effects to the background around you. See how that adds to the separation of the image? Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you like what I do and want to see more, please click subscribe.